Late Night. I'm your host, Haley Ringo. Guys, it's season two of Landed Late Night. We're gonna fuck it up to the tempo. We're gonna fuck it up to the tempo. <laughs> you guys, I have icon oh YouTube God. OG with me, Alicia Marie. Thank you. AKA Lita Loshi. Um, Alicia Sweet Green, that's actually an account, but I like to call her that for fun. <laughs> um, there's lots of nicknames. There's so Whatever many you like. nicknames. But hello, welcome. I'm legit. <laughs> So excited. I feel like the first week, a year ago when you launched this, yeah. we were talking about dates to do it and then both of us just got busy and yeah. I'm so excited to finally be here I for know. season two. But this is like bigger and better, you know, now oh, this is like... Always bigger and better. We always love. bigger and better. We love. Um, cheers. 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 We already did a couple pulls of the tequila off screen, so <laughs> this is, um. you can guess. You can guess. Use your imagination. There, Let's yeah. turn your hair down. Get wild. Go crazy. <laughs> we don't know. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Hydration is key. You know what I mean? Hydration. Um, I feel like you and your sister have taught me that more than anybody else, you know? though, to be honest. <laughs> Carry a water bottle at all times. <laughs> Hydrate your bodies. Um, dude, what the frick? I mean, I know what's up because, like, we're friends, you know, yes, but you good. do have so much coming up in the works, and I want to know all the tea. What you can spill, just spill it right yeah, now. Yeah, just... yeah, yeah. So, ah, there's so much. So, obviously, I have my YouTube channels. I have my main one in the vlogs. Yeah. Um, what's coming up for the vlog channel, which is really exciting, is Vlogmas. So, basically, you vlog every single day, December 1st to December 25th. It's insane. I was listening to Christmas music literally the other day, and I didn't know if I had PTSD from last year <laughs> or just – or if I was excited. Like, yeah. I genuinely didn't know. But right. um, either way, I am really stoked. We're actually coming out with some Vlogmas merch. You are? Yeah. Oh, freaking! yeah. But I'm yeah. so excited. It's so cute. You know I'm going to rep that. So it's so hard. freaking cute. We also have, like, bundles coming out, oh which is gosh. really exciting. So yes! You know, different combinations but i'm really excited oh my god that. let's talk about demonetization for uh, a second oh um have you ever done anything that's been demonetized oh yeah actually my uh, my hot girl summer video got a little wait what demonetization on it it did yeah see here's the thing there's a whole system to it that a lot of people don't understand so first when you upload a video to youtube there's three colored icons the green yeah. one obviously is like you good to go you gucci flip-flops Got you. you freaking did it, I dude. Look at that. <laughs> so um, you're good to go, fully monetized, whatever. Then there's the second one, which is yellow, which is not suitable for all advertisers, okay. which doesn't mean you're not making money. Like, yeah. if an ad, if an advertiser is down and, like, they don't care, like, they're super chill. I can't think of an, of an example, but they don't really care about PG-13 stuff, then you're fine. But then also the, you shouldn't be surprised if you get less money because there's yeah. some very, very family-friendly PG brands who don't want to be associated with anything that could be like... What did we do? Just like being wild, for instance, or just even... That's literally why I was Even like twerking or just stuff like that. Like there's there's certain things... And sometimes it's a, it's just a gray area, which is really weird. So I wasn't kind of surprised that that one got a yellow one. So I still did make some money, but compared to like what I would normally would make, it was like nothing. We didn't but, um, even do any, I'm like. But then there's actual, the red icon, like you do not want the red icon. That means you like fully, no, yeah. you're just nothing. Because they give you strikes, right? And then once yeah, you Yeah, I've them. actually, fun fact, I've had a strike on my channel. For what? No one ever like <laughs> thinks that I would have a strike on my channel. Oh my um, God. I was terrified. I, you, back in the day, like you could always just use whatever music, like, and make money off okay. of it. Um, oh, and yeah. I remember I uploaded a video and I had, I used music all the time, but one time I used a Taylor Swift song and her mm. team, they're like, nah, bitch. Mm. They're like, nope, you, um, no. So I used that. But what was funny was I felt like they were doing this thing because I got a strike on my main channel and I had just seen her in concert on my vlog channel. Okay. So I put up a whole vlog like of her concert, which obviously I'm basically filming her concert, putting it up on YouTube and making money off of that. Like that's oh. not okay. Um, See, in my head, I was like, that's promotion for her. Like she should say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but then like you're making money. Um, so I actually got, they demonetized that video, but then they went to my main channel and then I got a strike on that channel. There's different features that get taken away with strikes. Okay. So when I had the first strike, I couldn't do the unlisted feature. Which basically, if you don't know, is the main the re main reason you use an unlisted feature is when you have like a brand deal and you have to send your video to a brand ahead of oh. time. You put it on unlisted, so anyone who has a link can view it. So you send it to the brand, they can view it, and it's not public. And then that way, if they want any edits or whatever, right? So I, yeah. did, I, I didn't have that feature for literally six months. So I had to literally upload anything to my vlog or not my vlog channel. I had it like. I had a school account. Like a Finsta? Yeah, yeah, I had a like school account. How to do that? Bring it over there. Bring it to all that. And then if you get a second strike, that's when you lose um, thumbnails. Which think Dude, of how much that would suck. That Six would... months with no thumbnails, especially back then, it wasn't as big of a thing. But now you have to have such good thumbnails. Um, and also, I assumed I didn't know this for sure. And these rules may have changed. All the like, all the stuff may have changed. But I'm pretty sure. You also I'm lost sure you're right. <laughs> monetization then. Okay. So monetization and thumbnails, and then three strikes, you're just done. 
like they'll just remove your channel, which is insane. I was so I was so scared. So, so I was just. How does like people like David Dobrik survive? He doesn't make money. Okay, so he just... he makes money through like brand deals and stuff, but he even has publicly said so much that he like doesn't make much at all from his videos. So is it YouTubers mainly make money through YouTube or brand deals? Um, or both. It's definitely both. The thing is that brand deals are so much more inconsistent. Okay. Especially even just with the quarters, for instance, fourth quarter's coming up, so a lot of brands and companies have a lot of extra money in their budget that they okay. are literally have to use by the end of the year. So it's known that you kind of get more brand deals for the end of the year. The holidays, CPMs are higher yeah. because it's just that. January, first quarter, nothing. Like, it's very, like, kind of, so it's always just up and down. However, AdSense is a little more stable, okay. which is what you get paid off of for, like, videos and stuff. Okay. Um, but it's just a lot less okay. compared to, like, what brand deals can be. So, so it's kind of a catch. Yeah, you've been doing this for ten years, yeah. um, or over ten over ten it's years. It's changed so much, though. Yeah, but you. So at what point could you go full time doing YouTube? And for people that like, I mean, I still don't know a ton about how YouTubers make money, like yeah. their source of income. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, can you like walk me through? Oh my god, of course. So I remember my first check ever was a hundred and. Hundred dollars and like one cent. Like I remember begging my parents just to let me like be in the YouTube Partner Program, whatever. Honestly, my channel did not grow for the first like four years. Okay. Like at all. Granted, some people like sh shoot up overnight. It took me so long, but I do remember the time when I think I'd been doing it for about three or four years, okay. and that's around the time when things kind of started to pick up. I remember trying to decide if I wanted to go full force with school okay. or if I wanted to commute and really focus on my YouTube channel. And that's around the time I remember um, my sister and I were moving and we went to this apartment and money was pretty tight. Yeah. And then what was so crazy, and this is what's something that I think a lot of people don't realize is YouTube is, it's so weird. It, or just digital social media in general when it's your full-time job. Yeah. Like there's no money. I always tell people don't expect any money for the first two years. Like yeah. at least for me, it was like five years. Um, Which is so, like, that's so encouraging to hear. I oh, feel like too, completely. because you just, and I think a lot of it is you just stick with it. Like you have you, to. You don't, it's consistency. Like you don't give up on stuff and it will, like your hard work will pay off, but oh, it's, it's not totally going to help. But it's so hard because I feel like you're very similar in, in how I am with like we want to happen over. We want things to happen overnight. Oh, completely. So like I have an idea and I'm like, cool, it's going to be done tomorrow. Yeah. And then everyone else is like, no, it's not. Yeah. And I feel like you're the same because you know I know in Greece I saw you work on multiple projects that yeah. are like super cool. And it was like, I know. And then you just want to do more. Yeah. Just, and then it's like even for me, I'm like, okay, like launching season two, and I, you know, I just put out this. Now what am I going to do? Like yeah. I have something else to do now. But oh it's like, my god. No, just like breathe for a second. But it's it's like it's just fun. It's time. And it's time. Yeah, and, and it takes let it do its mm -hmm. thing. And also, I think it's so underrated how learning about you and your own brand takes so long. And there's pro like there's projects that I could have had three years ago, but I'm so glad they didn't mm -hmm. happen because it would have not like even my merch, for instance. What I w what I wanted it to be like two or three years ago. Now I would look back and be like, oh my god, that's not. I was just that's not at all what I want. Would have yeah. wanted it to be. Yeah. Um. But with money, like. There's nothing for so long. And then what's weird is you start getting some and then you start thinking, oh my God, I can fully be full time. And then there's some months where you're in the negative. So yeah. it, it kind of starts really rocky, but I swear the second you actually start like actually having a steady income, it like shoots up. Yeah. It's really weird. It's not, it's like very, very slow and then it shoots up like yeah. crazy. So that's something that I think I always want to encourage people to, one, I mean, obviously just do it if you love it because right. if you love it, like the money will come right. just in anything, but obviously like it will come, but it's really the timing and figuring out your voice is so underrated. Yeah, and how do you, like, how how would you do that? I mean, how did you for It took me five brand? years. Yeah. So, like, does it need to take you that long? No, not at all. I think for me, obviously with, I mean, I started when it was a webcam, so you couldn't even make money then. And just over the years, seeing of things that were, like, popular and copying that and then later realizing, oh, that's not what I want to do. Yeah. Um, that would be my biggest advice. Just do do what you want to do from the very beginning. Yeah. And, like, stay, stay so true to yourself. Yeah. That's it's so really cliche. Nice. No, no, but, I mean, it's true. And I feel like we can get caught up in our own, you know, our own, I feel like we're our own worst enemies, you know? And it's not a competition. Yeah. Like, for years, I can be so competitive. I truly thought it was such a competition. Yeah. I wouldn't even tell, like, friends what camera I was using because I didn't want them copying me. Yeah. Like, it was insane. <laughs> I was insane. Um, but... You finally realize, like, wait, there's so there's room for all of us. Yeah. Like, actually. Yeah. And on top of it, we're all so different. And if someone else wins, like, let them be a role model to you, opposed to like, why yeah. are you taking my spot? It's like, yeah. no, like, they're doing that, which means they're opening doors for you to do that too, like yeah. later, which is really cool. Which is like, I'm literally thinking about what we talked about last night. Everyone is created for a specific purpose yes. on earth, yes, 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 and yes. like, no one 
every we're all so different mm-hmm. and like no one else there's not another you in the world so like just be who you are and I feel like this is so good for people to hear because because in your uniqueness like that's your magic sauce is you as a person like you you are your magic sauce yeah you and know so, what I thought of um just recently actually we were talking I was talking to TK and we were talking about basically just trends and how especially with YouTube what's cool is if you come out with a video and it sucks, you can redeem yourself super quick, yeah. right? You yeah. can just make a new one. People will forget about it, whatever. Think about traditional like artists. If they come out with an album that they've worked on for years yeah, that's and it really sucks, point. you have to wait two years at least till your next one to kind of redeem yourself. And we were talking about how it's so easy, especially on YouTube, to see other like you're in your lane and then you look over and someone's doing something and they're getting millions of views. Mm-hmm. Then you're thinking, oh, shoot, do I need to do that? Let me do that. Then I had this thought realizing, imagine... See how Billie Eilish has, like, blown up. Mm -hmm. Imagine if Taylor Swift looked over and was like, oh, I need to do that. And then Mm -hmm. she came out with this, like, yeah, like, weird thing. You're like, dude, you're Taylor Swift. You're not her. Like, stop. Stop trying. That's, like, cringe. That's literally how it is when it comes to, like, all of us and, like, trends coming up. And that's something – I had a moment because it's so easy, especially doing this for so long, seeing new people come up and – people love them and you feel like you need to change what you're doing and then it just it's kind of cringe when you're like wait that's not me yeah yeah and so everyone is given like a unique gift and Mm -hmm. so staying in your lane but not in a way of like you can only do one thing because clearly like I do a million things you do a million things you can evolve you can grow for sure yeah and you're going to like we we should be always growing and learning as humans but you know just really figure what you want yeah Yeah. because what you want like whenever it's it's something that makes you happy you're going to be a happier person therefore Mm -hmm. more people are going to be attracted to you because of the energy that you're giving out and like it's that's just how it works and it's so good to evolve too because i mean you can look at my channel and it's changed so much i started with just makeup it went into lifestyle then comedy and now it's kind of more back to lifestyle sometimes we throw in a business more video which i never thought i would do that but that's what i love doing yeah but i never thought people would be interested in it yeah um however that weirdly at least right now is that's what most people are loving but i thought no one would love it so it's really cool i think whenever you're passionate about it really comes across yeah um weirdly even it just totally comes across well and now it's cool because we have so many tools whether it's like instagram youtube with analytics you can literally ask your audience like what oh, they want. You know what's really cool? I remember, did you watch the Kim Kardashian had the people special? I don't know if you can watch uh, it. It was actually really good. Everyone should go watch it. Okay. But Perfect. she was, it was basically saying how she was one of the first celebrities to really see Twitter as a tool and to say, hey, my audience actually wants to be involved. Which yeah. perfume bottle do you like? Where traditional is so much more, no, top secret. You don't know anything until we reveal it. Yeah. Where now with digital, like it's like, hey, help me make this. What do you guys want? And that she was one of the first people to really do that. Yeah. Um, on Twitter. Like it's Twitter. It's insane. Yeah, I need to get on the Twitter game. I'm still like not. <laughs> it's like, I, I feel like you do really good on Twitter because Twitter humor is so specific. I know. I need. I, I downloaded do- it for Game of Thrones and then I literally just forgot about it until now. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, get on it. Okay, I'll start tomorrow. I'll start tomorrow. Wait. So... First of all, you have, and I back to like you talking about honing on your brand, you very much have an aesthetic and you very much have a brand now that's very clear to see. Um, like it's very, everything's like Alicia Marie. Like I get it. <laughs> well, now it's Alicia. You, cause they used to, did, when did you get that name? Like on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, not to brag. I'm pretty sure I was one of the first YouTubers to actually just have their name. Because I wanted Alicia Marie, but it was taken. But Alicia oh. was inactive, so then Instagram was able to get Alicia. Yeah, they They're were. They're like, sorry, we can't get Alicia Marie, but is Alicia okay? And I was like, that is the dopest thing ever. Right, right. To be like, just Alicia. Just Alicia. No, that's My favorite dope. thing is when people are like, what's your Instagram? I'm like, Alicia, A-L-I-S-H-A. And they're like, yeah, Anna. And I'm like, that's just it. That. <laughs> no, it's literally It's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, how can I buy out, like, just Haley? Haley. <laughs> Okay, but what are some of, like, your favorite brand deals you've ever worked with? Because you've worked with literally everybody. Um, I mean, the first, there's so many, honestly. Um, the first one that came to my mind, though, was BMW. Um, with the Khalid thing? With the Coachella deal. That was, I'm not kidding. And it's not even, yes, it was probably one of the coolest deals I've gotten mm. where... Um, they did the Rogue to Coachella campaign. It was their second or third year, third year doing it, I believe. Okay. Um, so basically, they just get influencers to drive out these dope cars, the BMW i8s, yeah. and then this one of the sub headliners wraps it because um, they're the sponsor. So I went with it was Khalid's year, and it was just so it was really cool <laughs> because obviously I get to drive this dope convertible BMW i8 to Coachella. They yeah. let me have it for like a week. Yeah. It was iconic. It was amazing. Um, it was amazing. It was so good. We got artist passes too. Like it was. Epic. However, not only of all of that, but just them as a brand, something I've noticed, the 
more of the top, more elite brands that I've worked mm. with are so chill. Really? Hollister was one of them. BMW also. Like, it feels like a lot of the people who are more kind of on the top, mm -hmm. they get it. They're chill to work with. They're so easy versus sometimes some of yeah. the brands who are more like starting out or they're trying to pretend that they're like on top are so difficult to work with. Yeah. And I've noticed that. I kid you not, every single time some of the more like people who you think you'd be scared of or yeah. like, oh my God, you're on top and you're kind of nervous. They're so chill. They actually care to get to know me. Like they genuinely trust my like creativity. Like it's yeah. so insane. So um, BMW was one of them. They were just so awesome, so yeah. nice. And they, they were so easy to work with. And I think they were just amazing. Yeah. And it, it is like, I think probably because they're a well-oiled machine. Yeah. You know, they've yeah, like yeah. done this a lot. Established. And, and that's where yeah. you start to value that. Of right. like, you know, for a long time, I, I didn't like how long I've been on the platform because I saw it. I was like, oh, now, now that comes next is just being irrelevant because I've been right. on here for so long. But um, learning all the knowledge and like taking that as value, I think is something that's changed a lot for me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I know like, okay, so Vlogmas is coming up, which Vlogmas is a whole is shebang. That's, that's just like a fun thing. It's a fun thing. Yeah. Yeah. I know some stuff that's happening in the works, but like, what can you share? Or can you yes. give any hints? If you were to ask me a year and a half ago, I had nothing. For years, every interview, I would pass on a lot of interviews because I truly had nothing more to say than, oh, just like my channel. Mm -hmm. Because that's where I put all of my time and effort. Yeah. That whole like work smarter, not harder thing. I'm not kidding. After having like a burnout moment, I realized all I have to show for 10 years are views. And those yeah. are so empty mm. to me. Like they felt like nothing. But it's because I came to that moment of realizing if I want to do this for more, like if I want to do this for years yeah. and have a career out of this, I need to actually build other things other than just my YouTube channel because yeah. that is that could literally be gone tomorrow. Yeah. Um. So that's when the podcast came up with Remy. So Pretty like basic. that's doing so freaking good. We just hit thirty million downloads, which is insane in a year. Like in a, it's so insane. Oh my, oh my it's god. It's insane. Um. And we're just two best friends talking about random crap. Like which not is the best. Like and it's it's so awesome. And um. Yeah. So we did a tour with that earlier this year. So that's that. We do have a very exciting project with that. I think coming out. I think it's fall of next year. Okay. Um, Autumn of 2020. Yeah, it Thank is you. a. I can say, I can say it's a collab type thing. Okay. Um, that's probably all I can say. But um, that's very exciting. We just kind of got finalized things with that, and then <gasps> there's another project. Um, we actually just had a very exciting meeting today about it. Um, I don't know what I can say. I know. I, it's okay. I will say this is something that it's a whole new venture that I've never even gone down. Okay. Like I felt weird in the meeting because I was very much like, I don't know this world. Yeah. Please tell me a little more about it. Yeah. But I'm very excited to learn about it. And it's, um, and it's with Ashley. So I, I can say that. <gasps> I can say that. Uh, oh, do we know? Oh, do we know? Oh, uh, no. I, I, I don't know. I can say that, right? Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. This is a sister project. Sister project. Sister okay. project. So hopefully that will, that sounds like it'll probably be next year. All things going, but I'm lit. I'm lit. That and I'm then lit. I'm so excited. Um, the whole business side of this digital world, I just, have grown to love and love sharing about it. I've, yeah. loved, I've learned that I really love teaching people about it too. Um, so I kind of wanted to find a way to kind of share all of that. Yeah. So. Well, I like what you said, like work smarter, not harder. Yep. It's the motto. Because there, even just this year, I've learned with photography, like ways that I can make uh, like four times what I make yeah. with making with other jobs um, that take me half, the, not even less than half a quarter yeah. of the time. And, and it's so true. Like there are so many, you have, but you have to be smart about it. And it's all time management is half yeah. of it. Like yeah. there's no reason I used to, and I kid you not ask Ashley, I would wake up at seven and edit and I would literally work all the way until like 10, 11, sometimes midnight. Like, of course I would take breaks in between, but I woke up, went to my desk, did that. Like oh where now gosh. I'm realizing, okay, it's so important for me to not do yeah. that. So making time for whether it's like the gym or even just getting lunch with a friend, even yeah. though in my head, I'm like, this doesn't feel productive. I'm like, no, yeah. let me do this. And I can get the same amount of stuff done in a day if I actually just focus in those four hours opposed yeah. to four hour work day, baby. Four hour work day. I still need to read that Tim book, Ferris. but I've heard it's really good. What helps me, and I know you and Ashley work side by side, is working next to somebody. Having because someone, it, it's so underrated. Oh my God. That's why a huge thing, when people start working from home, I say like, you have to get out of the house yeah. or have a structured routine in a non-routine week. Like right. there's, every day is so different, but that doesn't mean yeah. you still can't have little routines. Like right. even me getting my coffee every single morning, sitting down, having my to-do list, like little things like that, like will keep you sane. Like you are just on, I wanted to say precipice, but it's that's not the word, because I tried <laughs> to use it earlier. <laughs> Word of the day. Um, no, but you, it's so crazy because you've built literally an empire already. 
but you're also at the very beginning of like even bigger things. I feel that. that. I do. weirdly feel that, which is like and that's what's very crazy. exciting. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think I've learned a lot. And anytime I even fall back into the trap of, oh, why didn't this hit 5 million views? Mm-hmm. Like I've, I know I've been there and that's okay. Yeah. And there's so much more value in a small family of a community of viewers than and an audience versus just millions and millions of empty views. Yeah. Um, so that's mm-hmm. something I've definitely learned and, yeah, very, very exciting things coming up. And I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon, honestly, which is, like, really exciting. Um, and it's fun, too. It's fun. There's yeah. some things that I never thought I would be diving into. Yeah. And here I am really wanting to do it. So, yeah. I know. You know what? I'm just, I'm, like, having this thought. I'm, like, I can't wait to see Hugh marry one day because he's going to Me be... either. Can you please show up? Yeah, there? I'm, like, <laughs> dude. But okay. I think that, like, you're so driven. It's going to be a thing where, like, you're running yeah. you're sprinting yeah. you're sprinting in, in your lane and you're just gonna like run yeah. up y'all are just oh, gonna run oh up next God. to each other i can't wait to see that i can't wait until oh, all our friends are married and we all have like kids and we're like remember when we were all single yeah and we were like oh my <laughs> and like God, hopeless yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and like and never we love our dog we're dating our dog <laughs> our dog is our boyfriend i literally just said that the other day yeah i literally just said that it's i funny. mean but it's cool it's cool it's always there for us Honestly, yeah. Always there. It's reliable. You know, sometimes the most a part, little demanding. Yeah. A little needy. But I kind of like it. But, like, I do give them all my attention. Yeah. <laughs> a little too much sometimes. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you are just – well, I love you. You know that. And I'm so pumped that I finally got to have you on the show. I know. Um, it means a lot to me. And this is, like, so cool that season two – airing with you. I'm so, no, no, no. I'm so excited for you. I Like, the freaking trailer and everything was so dope. Thank you. It means a lot. Like, it's been – it's been just a crazy year, but I feel like having friends like you and having community is like, I mean, I, I'm, this sounds cheesy, but it is really what keeps me going. Yeah. And especially having you as a friend with your kind of work ethic, like it really is like exponentially insane, more than anything that I've ever met, but in a, oh the best way. Oh my God, yay. So I love you and I can't wait to see everything that you're going to do. And I can't wait till the world knows because I know and I just want everyone <laughs> to know too. Um, but I love you. Let's cheers it out. Cheers. 2020 is going to be what? 2020. <laughs> I'll say it. Liddy Titty. Oh, Liddy Titty. Liddy I was titty. like, Gucci flip flops. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's also very bad. <laughs> 2020 is going to be Gucci flip flops and Liddy Titty. <laughs> okay, so tell everyone how they can follow. I mean, everyone oh. watching this probably already knows how to follow you. And, no. And um, <laughs> but tell everybody how. Yeah, so main channel is just Alicia Marie. Same with um, my vlog channel is Alicia Marie Vlogs. That's just more daily vlogs, more real, more raw, less yeah, produced. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. then Twitter is Alicia Marie. Alicia on Instagram. If you just type in Alicia anywhere, it should yeah. probably come up yeah um so yeah oh my gosh you guys season two this is season two of landed bigger it's just better thank you all so much for tuning in thank you for being part of this journey um please subscribe to everything she just said tap her notification button so that you are notified every time a video is aired and make sure to subscribe to landed late night i will be releasing a new episode every week wednesday night 8 p.m it's going to be crazy. We're going to have some I'm insane so guests on, and the night is young. Oh. Let's go eat some food and drink some drinks, baby. Baby. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. bye, you guys. <laughs> have a fabulous week. Let your hair down. Do a shot of tequila for me, and send me a picture. DM me a picture. Love you guys. Bye.